Hi folks, Bells and Trapping here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 37 at 36,525. What's really important about this, made all-time high of 36,679, but it's only leg C. I also have a signal, an indicator that says there's a pretty good chance, over a 90% chance, in fact, that the Dow opens a little bit weaker tomorrow before it attempts a rally. So we're going to be watching that because that would say, regardless of what happens, um, the, even if there was a peak C in the daily chart of the, of the Dow, we ha usually get a D, and that's where you've got to start being a little bit careful. So that takes you into 2022 for a, a, a new all-time high uh, starting off the year. So um, let's look at the S&P. S&P also made an all-time high gain today. This is, a, this is a, a, becoming a little bit of a habit. And that's now in the leg in. It says, be a little careful here because there could be some kind of a pullback early next week. You're looking at, it's trading at 47.99, up six. You're looking at the QQQ, which was rallying earlier. Uh, it's given back some, but it's up 91 at 402.45. It hasn't gone above the high of three days ago. It hasn't gone above the 408.71 all-time high. Uh, it's got a bit of work to do. I, I suspect it might be a bit of a laggard. You're looking about at the laggard becoming a leader the IWM was leading. It's up $1.66 at 224.66. We're going to be watching this closely for my subscribers to my opening call newsletter uh, come this coming week because if IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps, starts to show leadership, and it'll only do that if it's able to start trading the 228 or higher on a pretty much daily basis over two, three days to say, hey, I've left the 220, two, the teens alone, the 219 area or lower. I'm, I'm out of there. I'm moving higher. We're going to be watching that very closely. Hey, wait a minute. You're looking at gold. Gold uh, up three at 1808. Not going anywhere, but gold is hold. That's all. It's just holding very nicely. If you look at the dollar, oh, I never did the dollar in my show, the Tiger Conditions Hour a few moments ago. It's also in a holding position with a rectangle formation. And the, the connotations there, I'll talk about it tomorrow in my, my Tiger Conditions Hour. But in the meantime, it's up 14 cents at 96.04, just in a trading range. But the TLT, that's what we spent some time on today, making lower lows and lower highs. And that suggests that yields are moving high, but they're still within a trading band. There's a lot of work to be done with TLT. If it's going to break out um, to the, if it breaks out to the upside, yields go much lower. That means it goes to the 152 in the TLT. If it starts to trade under 145, yields are going to go quite a bit higher. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow for the Tiger Conditions Hour. Great programming coming up all day here at TFNN, and hope you have a great day. See you tomorrow.